we came into Helmand. I think the enemy thought that uh, they were going to let us in here to some degree, and then they were going to hammer us with IEDs, um, with an inability to win over the local population, and with an inability to get anything done. Operation Speargun was our battalion's piece of a regimental-sized operation. It was a uh, helo-inserted interdiction operation. We set out to get into the enemy's uh, safe haven, uh, stop him from doing what he was doing, force him to either defend or withdraw, and uh, thereby, again, disrupt his ability to continue to plan actions against us and keep him on the defense. And it's starting to look the opposite way. And I think even for diehard guys, it's becoming pretty obvious that uh, uh, their only hope is that uh, we just uh, quit pushing. We did it with the Afghans in the lead. We had uh, three different Afghan units. We had the uh, NIU. We also had uh, what we call the Tiger Teams. They are uh, Afghan National Army soldiers that are specially trained with uh, British uh, SAS and SBS guys, Royal Marines. And of course, we had a squad of uh, Afghan National Army helping us out, uh, get into the mix. Uh, and, uh, all three units performed uh, very, very well. If you get in a firefight with the Taliban, these guys are next to you. Uh, pretty much everywhere we've decided to push into, we've gone into it and uh, we've been able to have our way. And uh, most importantly, um, pretty clearly life is getting better for the people who've lived there. So. Uh, this whole idea that they got a better product to sell than we do, is, 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 and then Jeroa does, is uh, pretty clearly not true. And it's pretty fundamentally manifest. You go into these towns and villages, people are happy. I mean, they've got problems like anybody else does, but uh, life is generally better than it was under the Taliban. And that's kind of hard to, uh, it's kind of hard to spin.